Sustainable development has been called by many the transcendent challenge of the 21st century. The question is not whether to pursue it, but how. My colleagues and I have written a book that provides a framework for thinking about the how part of that question. The first question we had to present was, what should sustainability be about? The insight of the last 20 years or so is that what one needs to do is focus on the underlying assets, the fuel in the tank, uh, the set of uh, possibilities that we hand on to our grandchildren, and assure that they're at least as as much, as much fuel, as much possibility as what was handed on to us. Work in the field has now identified five big groups of assets. Manufactured capital, normally caught in GNP estimates, but also natural capital, our climate, our soils, our water. Human capital, the health, education of people. Social capital, the rules and norms by which we organize our activities with one another, and knowledge capital, the set of inventions, discoveries, and so on uh, that we bring to bear uh, in trying to produce from our asset base actual well-being in the field. How are we doing at achieving sustainability? Something on the order of 40% of the countries of the world are currently on a trajectory that is at least in principle sustainable, whereas 60% or more are on trajectories that by any way we run the numbers are leaving their grandchildren with less to go on, less fuel in the tank, less possibility than they inherited uh, from their own parents. So that leaves the question of how we can do better. Our colleague here at Harvard, Amartya Sen, has, uh, I think, a, a perfectly apt expression. He says, we need more informed agitation. Scientists and scholars need to spend much more time working closely with people on the front lines, uh, with the people who have to do the running in serious politics, with the people who are asking to change their everyday behaviors, whether they're a poor farmer looking for a more resistant crop or a negotiator in a climate change debate. We need to work closely with them in order that we be responsive to their needs, we generate evidence of the credibility of our work in ways that they find compelling, and ultimately that we gain their trust that we're on their side, that we're not shilling for somebody else. Building trust into the relationship between scholars and practitioners is probably the hardest challenge we face in the pursuit of sustainability, but one I think we're finally beginning to learn how to do.